How's it going, YouTube? It is Parker here again, bringing y'all another base head related video. We are back into the kicker series. Today, we have the comp VX12, so super excited to get into this. This is, of course, their 750 watt RMS sub. It'll be the biggest kicker we've had on here so far. Let's get to it. Guys, that is loud. Scares the crap out of me. Got 1600 watts. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you all so, so much for checking into another video. Of course, back in the kicker series. Very excited to be getting into this. But first, if I can get y'all to please smash the like button. I know I ask that every single time, but it really helps so, so much. I'm trying to grow this as much as I can, guys, because the more it grows, the more cool stuff I can get to review for y'all. Now, of course, this is the Comp VX. And then after this, we'll have the Comp Q. And then after the Comp Q, guys, I'm going to be doing a kicker giveaway. Now, in my last video, I mentioned I'm going to be giving away the little sound cube sub that I have. But I'm also going to be giving away a kicker 12-inch sub as well. So stay tuned for details either at the end of this video or in the Comp Q video. Not exactly sure how it's going to work, but it will be a subscriber giveaway. I think uh, the more subscribers I get... In a certain time period, the nicer of a sub I will be giving away, but it will be somewhere between the Comp R and the Comp Q. So that should be really, really cool, guys. Stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, of course, this is the Kicker Comp VX or CVX. Now, I bought this from C Crutchfield. That's one of their returned items. So the sub should be in perfect uh, shape and everything, but you can tell the box is a little beat up, a little bit worse for wear. No big deal there. Hopefully... Everything will be good to go with the sub, but I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Like all the other boxes, we have the cutout here, so you can trace this out if you're cutting out a hole and you're making a custom box. Then we've got a little pamphlet over here, or a little instructions manual. Over here in the middle column, of course, the Comp VX12. The EFS on this is 28.5. RMS is 750 watts. Sensitivity is 87.1 dB. X max is 16.25, so another step up there over the comp R. And the frequency response is 20 to 500 hertz. So pretty cool there. And of course, there's all, all these specs for the other subs too, if you were to get it in a 10 inch or a 15 inch. And then over here, they have some specs for if you're gonna uh, build a box or if you have a box. For the sub, of course, the sealed minimum for the 12 is about 1 cubic feet. And the max is 4.6 cubic feet, so ton of uh, play area there. And then over here, we have the directions for a ported box. So this says it likes a box that is 2.25 cubic feet for, the, uh, for a ported box. So I have one box that's 2 cubic feet and one box that is 2.5 cubic feet. I'll figure out which one we're going to go with it. Maybe we'll put it in the bigger box since this is a little bigger, more heavy-duty sub. But that is that. Let's check out the sub. Check this guy out. This is my first time ever seeing one of these in person. So that is always super, super exciting. I love the blue stitching on there and a the little bit thicker surround. Very, very cool look in my opinion. Wow, we have really nice big old leaves over here. Definitely a bigger and heavier motor over what was on the Comp R. We still have a similar, some sort of plasticky cone, but we have a much bigger voice coil in here. Looks like it's like a two and a three quarters inch or something like that. Very nice, thick basket. The thing is actually really thick and sturdy. Very cool there. Lots of binning down here. Yeah, again, a pretty decent sized motor compared to the others. I'll show this next to the Comp R here in a sec. Let's get a little closer look up at this thing. We have the cone that resembles the original comp over here. I really love the blue stitching. We do have a little bit bigger and thicker surround as opposed to the comp R. But then this basket, guys, this is actually super thick. Very, very robust basket. I do believe it is a cast aluminum basket, if I'm not mistaken. And there's that big old coil. Definitely bigger than what we have on the comp R over here. Overall, stiffer as well. Of course, have our spider, have our binning. Then we have this nice motor, definitely the biggest motor 
of any of the subs I have uh, gone over so far. Let y'all see that there. Of course, this is a dual 4 ohm sub. Kind of get those right next to each other just so you can see how much bigger this guy is. Now, that being said, this guy is also close to twice as much as this sub. I think I got this sub open box from Crutchfield or someplace like that for like 120 bucks, whereas this guy, pretty sure, was close to 220 bucks. And I think they're even more expensive if they're actually new. So, decently ex expensive sub, in my personal opinion, especially when you can get something absolutely massive like this American Base for about 300 bucks. I believe this guy's like 270 bucks, at least it used to be. Just stuff like that. Well, let's get this guy in a box and start testing her out. I think we're gonna put the sub in this little bit bigger performance box. I love this thing. I think it'll be really neat to have it in here and be able to see it. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, this box is 2.5 cubic feet, tuned to about 32 hertz. King City Customs did an awesome job. Anyway, let's pull out this black brick sub and put in the kicker. This black brick sub is just massive. Of course, it is basically a SCAR VXF. Anybody who doesn't know. But just wanted to quickly compare this. This guy retails for like 230 bucks, which is kind of crazy considering that's close to what this guy retails for as well. Just throwing that out there. I'm not saying one's better than the other. Just throwing that out there. I do love these big flat leads inside this thing. I love some flat tinsel beads, so I think that's so cool. But anyway, let's wire this guy up and get to testing her out.
I just more like it, guys. This guy is actually doing pretty good, in my opinion. Sounds super clean. Very impressed with that. Now, I'm sure being in this box helps, but just overall, very clean sounding sub. And yes, this guy does seem to get low. Sounds really clean in those lows. So overall, very, very happy. Much more impressed than I've been with the previous kicker subs. So hopefully the comp Q will be even better. But anyway, guys, let's get into the DB test and the musical RMS test and see how this thing holds up. Okay, we have Gilligan by Dram. Let's get to it. So it made it through that full song, guys. Now, I will say, in the last 30 seconds, it started making kind of a weird popping sound just when it would really hit. But it feels fine. Everything in there is looking fine. I did see it would peak to like 1,100 watts, and then I would hear this little pop. So I think that might have just been it maxing out. This box is a little bit bigger, so on those lower frequencies, when it really got that little burst of power, I think it might have just been it kind of maxing out, but I'm not really sure. Other than that, it did fine. Absolutely no smoke or anything. I don't smell any coil whatsoever, so I don't think anything is really damaged. Either way, kind of scared me there for a quick sec. Thought the sub was going out, but I think we're good. Now, I have a bunch of lithium cells back here, and guys, these things are awesome. I've been sitting in here for the past 30 minutes or so playing music and doing these tests, with the car off, the engine is not running, and we're still sitting at 13.3 volts. So these things are holding awesome. Just wanted to throw that out there, guys. Lithium cells, definitely the way to go. We have this thing set to dyno power. Let's go ahead and do some 45 hertz test tones. See how loud we can get. We're going to start out nice and low, just to kind of get a baseline, and then we'll go up from there. Put a little 146 watts through it. And we got a 131.4. Moving pretty good there at 500 watts. And we got a 135.4. Let's get it going again. Get a really bad popping sound, guys. But we did get 1100 watts. And look at that, 139.3. I've got it turned up again. Now last time I heard a really bad just popping noise I, I think it's just maxing out I don't know gonna guess it's gonna do it worse this time but let's see if we can get if we can break that 140 <laughs> guys that is loud scares the crap out of me got 1600 watts and there it is 140 140 pretty good guys I don't want to push it really any further it was maxing out really bad and it made a really bad sound when it was maxing out. I went and played it. The sub is just fine. It must just be the way it's hitting the basket or something like that. Not really sure, but overall it did really well, and I'm pretty impressed. That being said, I would say probably don't go with a box bigger than the recommended um, specs for this thing if you're going to be pushing really above that 750-watt RMS range. just doesn't seem to like it and does seem to max out. Uh, decently easy now of course from a budget base head perspective in my opinion probably better deals out there but hey if you love kicker and you want a really great quality built sub these things are awesome they will get the job done will probably last you for years i will say i have seen more old kicker subs than any other sub out there tons of kicker comps from way back in the day 
still absolutely putting in work. So the build quality on these things is excellent. I think Overall Kicker is awesome as a brand and they make really, really good stuff. Just personally, in my opinion, other stuff you can get out there at a little bit better value. Anyway, guys, next up will be the Kicker Comp Q. And then after that video, we're going to have a Kicker giveaway. So I think what I'm going to do is going to be based on how many subscribers I get here in the next few weeks. So I will be announcing the exact details to that in the Kicker Comp Q video. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to be giving away somewhere between the Comp R and the Comp Q, depending on how many subscribers I get. So stay tuned for that, guys. It will be an awesome, awesome giveaway. And we'll be having uh, plenty of other giveaways here to come. I'm ready to start getting rid of some of these subs. And instead of selling all of them, I would like to give back to some of y'all. So anyway, stay tuned for that, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Keep basing on.